Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another gameplay commentary from yours truly Team Headshot today. We're playing some Modern Warfare 3 and um, got a few things I want to talk about and uh, discuss with you guys. I want to get your feedback on a few things. So we'll, first of all I just want to say um, I just signed up with a new gaming network called Apollo Gaming and I really really would appreciate if you guys went out and checked out the channel. Give it a subscription and you're going to see me every Friday. I'm going to be uploading a video there. I'm not sure how I'm going to tell you guys. I'm I may do an intro video, I'm not sure yet, or probably just might upload the actual video onto my channel. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet, but you know, we'll, we'll think of something and we'll figure something out. So, I want you to guys to um, go and check out that channel, the link will be in the description below. So, um, go do that, and also, I've got another video uploaded on my Platinum channel, so um, my trophy channel, so go and check that out as well. Once again, links will be in the description below. So guys, that's what I want to talk about today, so today well, I want to talk about... Call of Duty Elite. Call of Duty, Activision, the ultimate scammers. I think Activision, why have, they need a trophy, I think, for this right now, because they have produced the ultimate scam, and I've been out of the loop on Call of Duty for lately, and I've stopped playing it. I'm being, I had enough of it, but starting to get back into it again. And, you know, I've been reading up on Elite, reading up on what's going on, and all this new content drop's been happening, and the amount of love the Xbox is getting over the PS3, I mean, the PS3, have we got any love from Call of Duty ever? I mean, all the DLCs go to Xbox first, and now, the DLCs, we don't get them for maybe a month, two months after Xbox. Are you kidding me? I mean, Xbox are just about to get the whole map pack released to them, to the general public. Over, and the PS3 users haven't even got Overwatch yet. Whereas Xbox has already got that black box, and now they're getting the whole, the whole, the whole deal in one for the public. I mean, Activision, what the fuck are you doing? I mean, what are you doing? I know Call of Duty Elite is the ultimate scam. It is the best scam I've ever come across in gaming. Probably as bad as Day One DLC and online passes. Now, Call of Duty haven't gone as far as to do online passes yet. I mean, if they did. Jesus Christ, or online subscription fee to pay on Call of Duty Online. That's going to happen, I guarantee you it. Um, and the reason why companies do this is because us idiots, these suckers out there, they get their mum's credit card and they go and buy it. You know, they get that. They get their parents to buy this for them, they go out there and they get it. And companies, when they're making money off these scams, money off these cheap tactics to earn money, they're going to keep doing it. You know, they say to themselves, well, we just made one million dollars of doing this in the first day. Why stop now? Let's keep going. Let's do more. And, I mean, as much as you can hate it, as much as how frustrating it is, it's not going to stop. I mean, there's been a lot of talk that the gaming industry is you know, struggling right now. So, gaming companies have to go out of their, go out of their way and, you know, make more money. And that's what they're doing. So... If people aren't buying their games, they need to cash in on the people who are buying their games and milk as much as, out of them as they can. And that's what Activision has done with Call of Duty Elite. I mean, come on. Elite... Elite's a great scam. Elite is a beautiful scam, but what they have done, Activision, and they've done this for me personally over the past few games, I mean, Black Ops and Mono for 2, is they released the DLC to Xbox first, and I go on the internet, I go on YouTube, type in Call of Duty, I don't know, Black Box, and map preview. So I'm going to look at the map. I did this the other day. Come across the video, watched it, and I said, well, that looks shit. <laughs> that, and they're all camping. It's boring, slow, big map. You know, I don't want to play that. And if that was me, I would look at all the maps. In previous history, I would look at all the maps in the, in the map pack or watch a trailer or something and watch actual footage of it and say, this is shit, that looks terrible, I'm not going to play that, I'm not going to buy it. And I've never bought a Call of Duty map pack in my life, yet I've nearly owned all of them. So there's always a way around it, if you have friends, there's always a way around to getting things for, for free anyway. So, I've played nearly all the Call of Duty map packs, and none of them have ever been good. I've never come across a map pack that I could say was good, I think, um... The Black Ops map pack that had Hazard and Drive-In and that, I think that was probably the closest map pack that I thought was good. 
I can't even remember it, so that's how good it was. But I never had that, I had that on the Xbox. So, what I'm trying to say is, while they might be thinking, well, we got this big deal with Microsoft happening, and we're getting all the, we're rewarding our Xbox users, the people who mainly play our game that are on Xbox, so they think, even though it, the numbers are technically pretty even, they're rewarding their Xbox users, and our PS3 guys aren't getting the maps. Whereas, you know, Xbox get them straight away, they can enjoy them, and then they'll hate them, post up, how, post up on the internet how much they hate them, because trust me, it always happens. And then those PS3 users will walk along and say, well, no, I'm not going to get that now. Miss money. They're not going to get the money. So you might be thinking, so that's why they've created a leap. I mean... They created a leap so that we all had to buy the DLC up front. Give us all the money for the DLC straight away. We'll give you 10 bucks off the DLC. Bang, there you go. There's your discount. You buy all the DLC straight away and we'll give you a discount off it. So, whoa, that looks great. That's a great deal. Oh, I'm going to go and buy that now. That's what everyone said. Everyone went out and got hardened. And now look at that. PS3 users, we don't even get the fucking maps. We don't even get the opportunity to get the maps until what, two months after Xbox? What a joke. I mean, I love Call of Duty just as much as the next guy, but how, why do we keep doing this to ourselves? Why do we keep buying this game? I asked myself, why the hell did I buy Modern Warfare 3? Why did I buy it? I knew it would be crap, but I bought it anyway. I think we're always expecting something brilliant to come from Call of Duty, and we always know what we're going to get, we know we're going to get a few days a few months of uh, pure fun, we know we're going to get a good good few weeks of absolute brilliant gameplay, but after that it just goes to shit but, I mean Call of Duty really hasn't changed since uh, COD 4 so we're still buying the same game and why do we keep doing it? I wish I knew the answer I wish, I wish I knew why Call of Duty is so popular, but I don't so moral of the story, Activision Congratulations, you're a dirty, you're a bunch of dirty scammers, I love it.